What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Gas Station Simulator. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we were able to finally secure the automatic car wash. You guys, this has been an enormous moneymaker already for us. But before we can do anything at all, we've got to head up front and actually open up the gas station for business. We've got a few cars already coming down the road. Sorry, if you would have waited just like two seconds, we would have been open and ready for business. Let's see what this car does. Just gonna keep on driving by. That's great. We don't have all that much that we can really do here today. I do still wanna experiment a little bit more with our hammer, but we're not gonna do that until we can actually upgrade the entire gas station to level seven. That's gonna give us the ability to do just a little bit more tweaking with that hammer. So very much looking forward to that, but I did already go around and purchase some more products. So we're just gonna get these quickly placed into all the shelves. Oh dude, I didn't grab near enough sodas. We're gonna be running out of this stuff super quick. Look at that. All right, well we have a little bit more Pepsi than everything else. Let's restock our chips over here. Used all of those as well. Okay, we've got a few paprika chips. Got some popcorn going in there. And last but not least, some bollies. How are we doing on newspapers? Or I guess crosswords. I think we're okay there. Let's make sure we're all stocked up on the brewskis. Got the bud heavies over there. Pastries and glasses appear to be okay. I've been putting off restocking the ice cream for a minute. You guys, we've got our first three customers here out at Fuel. You didn't go over budget, sir. I also found out that there's uh, like a statistic that shows how much money we've actually spent on Fuel and then how much money we've actually made from selling Fuel. So I do want to go take a look at that right quick. And then we've got to get some employees in place so we don't get uh, get all flustered here. Here we go. On the gas station tab, you can see money spent on fuel, 39000 But our money earned is almost 60000 That's pretty impressive. That is really pretty impressive. Do we have another car? I just heard someone honk. Why do these people honk for no reason, dude? I don't get it. Oh, and we've got two customers at the garage. Okay, time to get our employees into position. We're going to put Georgie Boy on repairing cars, of course, and Mayumi on fueling. That should work. I think we're good to handle the register. We've, we've done pretty well at that in the past, though. I don't think we have a streak currently. We were doing poorly in the previous episode. Let's see. I think she's going to handle that one. Let's try to sneak over here and maybe tackle one while she's not paying any attention. Got to wait for dude to move away from his truck. There we be. You too, sir. Thank you very, very much for stopping in. We're going to help this nice police officer. There you go, sir. All right, Mayumi is here to take care of the rest of you. Let's go ahead and man our battle station. We've got our first lady right here. Still not performing very well. I hate to say that. I, I definitely think I've been saying that in like all the episodes, but especially after that new DLC, dude, this game is just not performing. But we'll be able to check out way more stuff when they release the new Shady Deals DLC. Very much looking forward to checking that out as well. Though again, I hope it comes with a little bit of performance improvements because it's just kind of buggy. Actually, buggy's not even the right word. Frame ratey is, is a better way to, to put it, I suppose. Got another lady here. See what she's got. Super. Just the one soda. Super indeed. Thank you very much, ma'am. Have a great rest of your day. I want to go check on our mechanic really quick because I don't remember if we restocked anything over here. Okay. We're looking, we're looking all right. I definitely think he's got enough to get by at the very least. Oh, dude, it is so dirty. It is so dirty. We've got footprints galore here. Yikes. Okay, not ideal. Definitely not ideal, but we'll get it cleaned up in a matter of seconds. All right, that's gonna be good enough for now. We've got quite the line here. So let's continue to help out these customers. I noticed that the sponge as well has changed. It doesn't seem to 
really clean the entire conveyor belt like it used to. I don't know if that's just me. Maybe you guys have noticed that as well. $25 at a gas station. I love when people spend, you know, well over 20 bucks here. It didn't take long for me to lose our... Why are people honking, dude? What is your problem? But it didn't take long for me to lose our successful scan score. Very typical. Very... Sorry, ma'am. I don't even know what I did wrong there. Dude, I want to just... I just want to hear the... You're a lifesaver. One more time. That's... That's really all I need. Okay, you weren't... You weren't the one to do it. Maybe this guy's gonna be the one, though. You never know. We'll scan the flamingo shirt ladies stuff. Couple of drinks for the road. Just what you wanted. Good. Good. You're welcome, ma'am. This guy... This guy is the guy. He's absolutely gonna say it. Okay, he said I owe you one. That sucks. That sucks. All right, three more people. We're up to 42 honey dollars. As soon as we get up to 7,500 bucks, I think we'll be ready to start messing around with that hammer. We've just got to help this final lady here. What is going on with the crosswords? Good Lord. Okay, now we need to do a bit more cleaning. It would be nice too if we could add some lights in here. I'm pretty sure you can purchase some lights from the catalog. But let's just clean up the rest of these footprints, you guys. This place is filthy. Absolutely filthy. And we've got more cars just honking for no reason. I don't understand. Now, while this place is empty, we're just going to go around and pick up all the trash in here. There is quite a bit. Oh, dude, that one bottle. That one bottle's been there forever and ever and ever. I might just have to, like, move the register. Why are you honking? Oh. Yeah, I guess... I guess that's a reason to be honking. That's kind of a problem, isn't it? Well, we can go We can go help with that. I want to try to move this register, though. Oh, it's open. The station is open, so it's not going to let us do that. Okay, we've got a rogue bottle just chilling over there. Let's get good old Ricardo manning the battle station over here at the register. There we be. Now we can go address all the cars that are stuck over here. It would be right in front. Oh, my God. It would be right in front of the workshop. Unreal. All right, ma'am, this might hurt a little bit, but we'll just give you a little love tap right there. And then you've already high-centered yourself. So we're just going to help you right along. This person, not stuck. Okay, just waiting for no apparent reason. And then Georgie Boy's going to finish with this dude's whip. So we're going to have to scooch him along. Maybe he'll hit it with enough speed, he'll just go right over. Nope, not enough power from that thing. Okay, sorry, sir. Wait, what is that? What is that? What is under your... Hang on. Flip back. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not gone well. That's not gone well. Okay, he's on his side, though. I just want to see what the heck is under dude's car. Oh, also, there's snakes over here. Okay, that's not good either. I don't know what that thing is. Let's just get him put up on his wheels again. He'll find his way out of the desert eventually, I'm sure. Oh my god, look at this person! How do you even end up here? I don't understand! Did you get dropped by a UFO and you're just forever condemned to underneath the deck? Dude, that's weird. That is super, super weird. We've got to get good old Rudy, though. Because we've got one sand pile that needs to be cleaned up. Hopefully we have enough fuel to get this thing done. I'm just going to rush around the side here, get that thing scooped up, and we'll be on our way. Shouldn't take too terribly long, I don't think. I'm just eager to check out that freaking hammer, dude. I think once we unlock level 7 for the entire gas station, we'll be able to do some metal work instead of, like, the brick and, and whatever else we can do right now. Ooh. Okay, big rock. Big rock. We're almost there. Just try not to get run over by anyone. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Hard on the brakes. Drop it off. And we are good. Right on. Okay. Back to business. Yo, I haven't had any customers come inside in ages. It has been so incredibly long. Oh, we should probably like cycle out our employees. Oh, hang on. We're $7,400 already, dude. I haven't done anything. That's been all our employees. For sure, for sure. So let's try to put you, Georgie boy, on break. And then same thing with Mayumi. There we go. 
We'll pay them for their previous work and we'll get some new people in position. So Hiroki is going to be repairing. Amelie is going to be handling fueling the vehicles. There we be. We've got a person in here. This might be the guy, you guys. It might be the guy. I just want to hear you're a lifesaver one time. That is literally all I'm asking for. Two brewskis for the road. Okay, well, he kind of failed. But we are now officially at $7,800. So we can go ahead. Oh, make that $8,200. But we can go ahead and upgrade this bad boy to level 7. We'll see what that's going to do. I'm not noticing anything right out the gate that's different. Oh, hang on. We've extended this direction once again, which means all of this stuff has to be replaced back down. Kind of annoying. A little, a little annoying, but it's nothing we can't handle. We're going to go ahead and place Ricardo back at the register so we can do a few other things. Let's also make sure we pay our employees. Uh, Ricardo will be here momentarily, miss. Do not fret. With our employees now holding down the fort for us, we've quickly got to place a new order for some fuel. Okay, we're not actually doing that poorly in the fuel department. You too, sir. Thank you for uh, for being nice and, um, you know, treating Ricardo with the respect he deserves. He hasn't been doing this for very long. But what an incredible Cinderella story. This unknown comes out of nowhere to lead the pack. At Augusta. All right, enough messing around, dude. We've got to close down the gas station so we can actually use this new hammer. And I just realized that we forgot to paint up there. How, dude, how am I forgetting this stuff? Either we forgot to do it or the painting crew that we've hired previously forgot to do it. One of the two, but there we go. And actually it doesn't even matter because now that we've got the hammer out, it's hammer time? No, I can't say that. Let's start with the roof here. So the one that we've just unlocked now, come on, you guys, really? Really? The one that we've just unlocked now, why is our, why is our fuel guy just leaving? Why is Elon leaving? Do you have to stay open for Elon to drop by now? But check this out, okay? Take a good look at our roof configuration right now. The metal one, you guys, is so sick. $1,500 for that too. Can't be painted, but it's all right. Let's just have a quick gander at this bad boy, dude. The roof is looking excellent. Kind of reminds me almost of a diner. So I think that's a little nod to the other game that they're also developing. Okay, Fuel Man is back. Elon is back in action. I think we're good this time to actually refuel. But I want to take a look at these walls. Hopefully they're not too expensive, but we've got a few different variants of metalwork. I'm kind of leaning towards the one that matches the roof. So let's go ahead and choose that for a honey dollars. We'll make our way back to the fuel tank real quick so we can help Elon out. Thank you for bringing by the fuel, my man. And now all we have to do is just continue to work our way all the way around this thing and replace each and every wall with this new design. I don't even think we're going to have enough money to get the entire thing done. So I think I'll just focus on the front for right now. What follows is a brief construction montage. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. As cool as the gas station looks now from just this one angle, we ran out of money so incredibly fast replacing all of these walls. A hundred bucks a pop, including like these little columns, these little additional supports that they have. Those are also $100 a pop. So very, very expensive to make all these changes. And then inside, it's like more dark. It's considerably darker now than it used to be. But the gas station is back open. And sure enough, dude, look who just arrived. The party is here. I wanted to see really quick, though, if we can actually paint these inside walls. Oh, we can. How is that going to look? Not super good in all white. Could be worse though. Hang on, does that do just, it does do just the inside. Okay, well let's go ahead and get good old Ricardo manning his battle station once again. I just can't be bothered to help out the crazy rave people. And we are good to go. We can man all the other battle stations among these aliens and space lizards. 
kind of terrifying. We've got two ladies out here for fuel already. Top of the line job right there. And then this lady still, we have, we have yet to hear a, you're a laugh saver. We need it. We need it. Just one time. I don't think this lady's going to say it, but that's all right. We'll help her uh, refuel her vehicle anyways. Okay, now, as we again let all of our employees hold down the fort, what I want to do is just go around and try to paint all of our new walls, and we'll see if we can't find a, a close enough color match to up here. I tried a little sample of, like, this light gray that they have, and it's just not very good. I also tried the more metallic colors they have in there, so odds are we'll end up just painting the whole thing white again. I just want it to look nice. That's, that's really my only concern at this point. I'm not 100% sold on the white. I definitely think it could look a lot worse though. A real shame actually that we're not able to paint the roof. I think if we were able to do like a, a red or something just on the roof and then have this nice white base layer here, I think it would look really, really good. But unfortunately we're not able to do so. And then like inside, with the roof and everything. I'm just not really sure what's going on here. It's cool, don't get me wrong, but like I said at the beginning, there's really not that much more that we can do here in Gas Station Sim. We've uh, we've sort of peaked. I'm not giving up on this You're a Lifesaver, you guys. This is the guy to do it, okay? Have a nice day. Have a nice day to you too. Can somebody please just give me a You're a Lifesaver? That's all I want. That's really all I need at this point. Some muffins. Oh no, what did I just do with that? What am I doing, dude? I don't know my own strength. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I guess I'm just super strong. Just whipping these things around willy-nilly. Are you gonna say it? Okay, that was close. That was definitely close. We're up to about 5,000 buckaroonies now, but we need to rotate our employees once again, so Georgie, please go on break. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mayumi, also please go on break. And then we will get Hiroki in his place and Amelie in hers. There we go. We're gonna leave Ricardo resting for right now while we help the remaining customers we have. We've gotta do a little bit of cleaning, but I also think that there is an additional RC track. I think it's gonna be in interactive features. Potentially, we've got the basketball court. We're aware of that. Here we go. Another RC track or what else do we have? An old man guitar. Better than a music box by a long shot and fits the desert theme too. I don't know if you guys can read that right there. Not super interested in a Randy guitar over there. Let's go ahead and purchase the second RC track for 1200 bucks. That's a small price to pay. All right, so now that we've done that, let's um, let's get Ricardo back on the register, actually. I know we said we were gonna leave him on break, but he's fine. He's been on break long enough. So you please handle the register. Awesome, ma'am, Ricardo will be with you shortly. We've gotta make our way back out to the RC track area so we can see where this new course is at. I remember when we were up on the warehouse roof, there's something over there. I'm just not sure what it was. It very well could have been the second RC track. I guess we'll find out. So this is the first one? Or is this the first one? That one says $5. They both say $5. Okay, yeah, this is this is the first. Okay, so we need this one. No idea where we're starting out, but let's go for it, dude. Oh, what? It's like an abandoned mine shaft? This is dope. It's not going to be a very fast time, but oops. Okay, kind of kind of hit a pole. Not the best. Not the best. We'll just try to do the very best we can snaking our way through this. Where's this at? I want to like walk down here. I could care less about driving the RC car, dude. I just want to go out on foot in this place. That's really cool. Ooh, are we going up there? Where, where am I supposed to go here? We've hit a fork in the road. We can barely make it up that ramp. Okay, we've done it. Little shortcut, potentially, if you can carry the speed. I think that's what that was, anyways. Couple more checkpoints. Barrel. 
Love a good old barrel. Alright, we're probably almost done with this thing, I would think. Well, I don't know. The one... Oh, we've got another shortcut. The one on the surface takes a little bit longer than you think it will also. Hard left. Alrighty, we're doing a little bit better here. It's not a speed run, you guys. We're just trying to complete the track. But this is awesome. Look at this. We've got, like, the main pit area of the mine. Okay, that's a little sketch through there. Oh, I am going to fall down into the center of the pit, and I'm going to be really, really upset. Let's just try to keep on these rails, dude. And, like, the rocks are peeking out over the edge. Super, super sketch. Incredibly sketch. All right, that should be the end, right? Now we're out on the surface somewhere. Where the heck is this? Oh, it's over by... I think over by Dennis's area, like where he sort of runs from. There it is. We've done it. All right. Achievement unlocked as well. Love to see that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like we did quite a bit today. But as I mentioned, there's just not a whole lot else for us to do here until that next update drops. So looking forward to seeing that. Hopefully some of you are as well. But I think that's where we're going to wind things down at here for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.